Hello everybody, welcome back to an episode of Red Dead Character Analysis. We're back here, it's been a little bit of a while, it's been like a month or so since I did the last character analysis. I um, <clears throat> just got caught up with some other things and wasn't able to do a character analysis. I know I said I'd be more consistent with it, but then I kind of, I kind of fell off. But we're, we're back here, I'm definitely going to try and be more consistent. It's, it's not easy to stay consistent with certain things. Um, but, but we're back here and I'm trying to wrap up all the Red Dead characters um, for the at least for Red Dead One, and then we're gonna move on to Red Dead Two exclusive characters. So we're moving on here, and Red Dead is like a big game, and it has a lot of worthwhile characters that that are worth noting um, in terms of the story. So so it's a big game. So I, you know, I plan for this to be a character analysis that takes a little bit of a while um, to um, you know talk about all the characters and everything, and put videos out. So so I did anticipate it to take a little bit of a while. So so that's all good. Um, but today we're gonna be talking about Nigel West Dickens, and he was in. Um, Red Dead 1 exclusively, and if you see here in the gameplay, that's that's what he looks like. Um, now, I wouldn't necessarily um, make a character analysis about him, because some might argue that he's not too much of an important character in Red Dead. Um, but he is actually, um, he helped John Marston get into Bill Williamson's um, Fort Mercer when he you know went to go see Bill Williamson, or try, try to, and then he fled to Mexico. Uh, but, you know, he he was a big help, and he did, um, or the big part, at least in the first part of the Red Dead 1 story, so, so it's, um, it's worth talking about him, so he, he's very interesting, <laughs> um, and, you know, a lot of people think he's a very interesting character, um, so we're gonna get straight into it, of course, getting all my info from the Red Dead wiki, um, and he's a very fun character, um, well, so we're gonna get into that, he's also an Undead Nightmare, which we're gonna talk about that, um, now, why Nigel West Dickens is a major character in Red Dead Redemption with the addition of the Liars and Cheats DLC pack. Nigel West Dickens is also a multiplayer character, which you guys are seeing in the gameplay right now. And he may be selected in the Red Dead Redemption, the Outfitter. Um, born in Fort Wayne, Indiana. This is just a little bit of his background. Uh, West Dickens is an old swindler who poses as a traveling salesman when he is really a con artist and purported to have unique miracle cures for many medical and psychological problems. When he calls Nigel West Dickens elixir, he is an impeccable dresser and travels an opulent and puzzled stagecoach. At some stage, Dickens was married and also had a son who died soon after birth. He mentions his wife being demanded and also not to remain shackled to any woman. Which I don't even know when he mentioned that, but I guess it's probably some hidden dialogue. Um, now, the events of Red Dead Redemption 2 in 1907, a newspaper article describes Dickens as a studied man of letters, botany, and orthology. Um, I guess it was he was featured in a newspaper in Red Dead 2. I, I never saw that. But see, I'm learning some stuff I didn't know, so hopefully you guys are too. Um, and history of home medicine practiced throughout the ages that has involved to uncover Hippocratic frauds who were preying on victims across the country. Dickens had neuralgia, rickets, dysentery, and scarlet fever who could be cured of maladies by use of simple medicinal tonic. The response was uh, enthusiastic, and in more than one town doctor, local doctor, Dickens asked for peddling fraud cures. At the time, Dickens planned to take his message on the road and root out charlatans, that's what it says, and perpetrators of false signs. In the events of Red Dead Redemption, John Marston, after having worked with Marshall Lee Johnson to clear Pike's Basin, is tipped off by Deputy Eli that West Dickens has gone missing, and he states that West Dickens is missed by his repeat customers in Armadillo, and Marshall Johnson equates West Dickens with the drug dealer. And in New Austin, he, uh, John Marston finds West Dickens having been shot and exposed to the elements, not far from his stagecoach south of Cooch Chapel, and returns him to a doctor in Armadillo while fighting off bandits who want to finish the job. Now, despite Marston's personal dislike of him, West Dickens becomes a central networker and orchestrator of Marston's plan to Fort Mercer. West Dickens puts Marston into contact with Seth Breyers, an Irish, as well as supplying him with a newly armored stagecoach, and uses the, quote, Trojan horse strategy to deceive the outlaws. And if you guys don't know, um... Just look up what the Trojan horse is. It's, it's a very classical um, approach, very classic time in history. Um, there's, there's many things that are interesting about it. But, of course, it always um, it mentioned, you know, what I mentioned earlier about helping him with Fort Mercer and getting in and stuff. Um, and the attack does well, but they find out that Bill Williamson, of course, had escaped to Mexico yesterday morning. Irish then volunteers to take John into Mexico on a barge. West Dickens suggests that he intends to travel the board, having exhausted customers in the New Austin region. When Marston meets Irish at the barge on his way to Mexico, West Dickens is seen talking with Irish. Then he tells him he is off to Europe or China. And later in the Red Dead story in West Elizabeth, after you know Marston gets back to Blackwater, he is later seen in the, course, the Blackwater Police Building, being arrested for possession and distribution of narcotics. John recognizes him and tells the officer to release him, stating that he helped catch Bill Williamson with Edward Ross, sarcastically claiming that he is a hero and he is let go. Now, the events of um, 
Undead Nightmare, and of course it notes here that they're not considered part of the same canon as Red Dead Redemption, so the following description is therefore not contiguous with the preceding section of Red Dead Redemption. So this is, he plays a little bit of a bigger role in Red Dead Redemption, um, you see him a little bit more. Now, um, Dickens is first seen at Fort Mercer trying to sell his elixir for 100 gold coins, claiming that it cures the zombie plague and repels zombies. He sees John and tries to play along with his act, but then John ends up saying 100 coins is too much for a drink and threatens him with his revolver to give people a free sample of the elixir. Dickens has no choice but to reluctantly give the customers free samples. However, he and John watch a man drink the elixir, exit the fort, and then immediately mauled by the undead. Nigel gives John a bottle of elixir and task John with finding more plant ingredients so that he can attempt the actual cure for the plague. Upon the second encounter, Dickens sends John on an errand to Riley's charge, acquires some metal parts which he eventually uses to construct and complete a blunderbuss. John, despite Dickens' hasty words, is unimpressed with the weapon. Dickens also confides in John concerning a branch of soldiers officially crossing the border to help those in Mexico. Dickens' age would disallow him to pose as a member for the group and informs John that a group of an army deserters stationed at the scratching post that may be willing to lead him to a uniform instead. When John asks Dickens where he's heading, Dickens optimistically replies that he's headed for either Baghdad or to meet his maker at the hands of one of the undead, smiling as he and John depart amicably. Dickens leaves the scene on foot and he is not seen again. And that is it. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to go into a little bit of extra here because it's not, he's not a crazy big character. Um, you know, like some of the other characters like Dutch or like Bill, like one of the, you know, one of the bigger characters, he's not a crazy, um, major character, but he's, he's very interesting. There's many things that are interesting about him. We're going to go into a little bit of the finer details, just his personality. Nigel is a friendly, positive, and jolly individual. He's also shown to be somewhat of a fraud, showing that he sells non-working medicine to get people's money. Although all that, he does try to be helpful and uplifting to others. Which, that was actually kind of it. That's kind of all that was on the website. I read most of the website. And usually I don't. Usually I'll leave some of the smaller, not, you know, details that don't matter too much um, out. But since Nandro is such a smaller character, I figured I'd, I'd uh, do a character analysis on him. He's a very interesting character, like I said. He's also very important to the Red Dead 1 story. Um, now, usually I wouldn't do Undead Nightmare. It just depends on the character. Sometimes I'll uh, do their part in Red Dead um, Undead Nightmare, but also just the Red Dead part, kind of depends, um, but we're going to go and start to move on um, in more of the Red Dead 1 characters, now of course we did John Marston, which he was in Red Dead 1 and 2, and Dutch and all that, but now we're going to start moving into characters that are actually only in Red Dead 1, like you're not going to see them in Red Dead 2, um, so like uh, Irish, um, we're, we might do Irish, I don't know, we'll see, we'll, we'll see what um, more important characters, but you know, like Wes Dickens and everybody who appears strictly in Red Dead 1, then we're going to move on to the, all the characters in Red Dead 2, like the manor characters. So, um, hopefully that makes sense. <clears throat> You'll see how it is in the character analysis. Like I said, I anticipate this, um, when I started, I anticipated it to be a longer, um, character analysis series. Um, <clears throat> so that's, that's, that's that. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's Red Dead Redemption character analysis on Wes Dickens. Um, it's pretty much going to do it. It wasn't too big of a character analysis, but I figured I'd do it, like I said, just because it was interesting enough. Um, but yeah, that being said, make sure to subscribe for more content, like a video, all good stuff, Discord, Twitch, Instagram, links in the description. Comment down below what you guys think of Nigel West Dickens from Red Dead 1. Um, he's a very interesting character, so comment down below, let's discuss. But with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.